Why I switched from Fuji to Canon. A uh, funny thing happened when I filmed this video, I actually said the title wrong <laughs> and I uploaded to YouTube and I caught it at the last second. This video is why I switched from Canon to Fuji. That's right. I left Canon behind. I had used the EOS R and the R5 and when the X-H2S came out, I went all in on Fuji. Let's talk about it. Point blank, TLDW, too long didn't watch, personal preference. Fuji cameras are not better than Canon and everything, everything is relative for what you're shooting and for what purpose. So my first wedding I shot on the Canon Rebel T5i, it worked. There were better cameras available, but my cousin paid me 500 bucks and that's the camera I had. You know, I can tell you my personal story, my personal journey and share my sequence of events, but I feel like I'm impulsive, I'm experimental, I make camera decisions by intuition. So I wouldn't actually advise anyone else to do what I did. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. It's Wes, welcome to this video. And this is about Fuji over Canon. Today I wanna to talk to you about something that's been on my mind for a while. I switched last summer and I just haven't gone around to making a video about why I chose Fuji over Canon for my professional work. For years, Canon has been my go-to camera brand from the Rebel T5i to the 6D to the 5D Mark IV, the EOS R and to the R5, which I sold last summer. I love the quality of their cameras and the lenses and I was comfortable with that menu and just the way the cameras are set up, but then something happened that changed my mind and my perspective completely, the Fuji X-H2S. I had used the Fuji X-T4 for a while. I used it for client photography uh, here and there, but I was never happy with the images, including and mainly the resolution. I felt they lacked the sharpness and detail when I zoomed in. Yes, when I pinched those pesky pixels. However, after a few shoots with the X-H2S, I knew I can count on the image quality, but also the resolution and sharpness to the images. So to be fair, I was using the 16 to 55 lens and I actually ran the 50 to 140 lens with the X-H2S when I made that decision. That's something I never actually gave the X-T4. I was actually kind of enamored of the, the light glass, the cheap glass when I started with Fuji. And so I've actually paired the higher quality lenses with the X-H2S and I am in love. So with that caveat, my apologies to the X-T4 fans out there. Uh, I do say I was never really satisfied with the X-T4 and I was wholeheartedly satisfied with the X-H2S from day one. Though those lenses could have been part of that. So let's look at why. What does this camera have? First and foremost, blown away by the colors, the quality, the details, the overall look of the images on the X-H2S. The first time I took it out to Venice Beach, I was blown away. And it captures every single moment with ease. But it's not just the image quality that drew me to the Fuji X-H2S. I also fell in love with its compact size and weight. Now here it's kind of girthy with this 16 to 55. Uh, but when you're doing event for photography and you're lugging around equipment, uh, it can be a hassle. And the X-H2S, I can move around freely and capture all the action without feeling weighed down. And especially what I'm talking about is the size and weight of the Fuji lenses in comparison to those Canon RF lenses. Let's say the 28 to 70, which is like 2.5 pounds or something like that. Or the 50, the RF 50, not the nifty 50. So the lens weight is very much a factor in why this camera works for me. Uh, but it's also a very small manageable body, albeit with a hefty grip. Another factor that contributed to my switch was its versatility. So it has a range of features that caters, uh, specifically I feel the event photographers fast, fast, fast autofocus, low light capabilities, that tilting uh, LCD screen, uh, and it made me easier, it made it, these features made it easier for me to capture those spontaneous candid moments that really make an event come to life. The ergonomics make it super fast, custom settings up here. So you can just dial one of these custom settings and get a baked in awesome looking JPEG that you can share easily, quickly on social. The ergonomics really uh, sold me on it. I know the R5, the Canon R5 has a nice size grip, but I just feel like this grip is a better fit for me. The overall design, 
this is another point the overall design it's sleek it looks good it looks professional and you might say hey you could use the x100v it's the same size sensor as the xh2s it's uh very very high quality images um, but client perception does play a part so uh, when i'm out with the x100v it looks like a point and shoot camera i'm out with this it looks like a pro camera so that's part of it the ultimate difference that the fuji xh2s brought forth the game changer the deal clincher is that super sharp autofocus. And I believe that's a result of the stack sensor. So it's different than the X-H2, different than the X-T5. And once I got a Fuji that would never fail, uh, and I could uh, never fail on the autofocus that is, and I could have the Fuji colors, I was sold. I know that switching camera brands can be a big decision. I'm not saying that Canon cameras aren't still great cameras. Uh, we use them at work, we use the R, we use the C70. But for me, the X-H2S means that I can have super sharp, reliable autofocus and Fuji colors, and that's it. I'm sold. I was always in love with the Fuji, uh, the way it renders light, the gradation from lights to darks, highlights to shadows. I just feel that uh, Fuji does a better job telling a more nuanced uh, story. I feel like Canon cameras are more contrasty and I feel like I get a better image out of the, the Fujis. Um, but now that the autofocus is on par with the R5, uh, I've not used the Sony, so I'm not making any claims, but I just feel like this will never fail me on the autofocus. And now I get the Canon, uh, excuse me, I get the Fuji colors that I love. Point blank, I love this camera. Point blank, I like Canon. So I would rather shoot the rest of my life with a camera I love and not regret a single moment. I would love to look at these images and deliver them to clients. And Canon images, I like them. I like them. So that's my story. I'm glad you watched this video. If it's helpful, this is just my personal preference. Let me know in the comments what you choose and why. Can you articulate it? Can you define it? For me, it's that marriage of professional, reliable autofocus with the Fuji colors. Game over. All right, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment and stay tuned for more Fuji content like this. Peace.